backwards compatible. All right, guys, and we're back with episode four, a block in a hard place. Well, this is officially until Telltale actually releases the last episode, which is episode five, that this is actually in the last episode as of right now, as of this date of this recording. So if you make it this far and there isn't an episode five video put up, you can blame Telltale. But that's all I have for you. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this episode. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who need them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now. This way. Jesse, you made it. And Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger! You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! <laughs> Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster! We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! We just need to get them moving faster! Bingo! Everybody, get on! I like how everybody knows that she's sick, <laughs> but nobody is trying to like make her feel better. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna be quiet and just watch this train wreck. Come on, Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra. Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come 
on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back! Ah! I looked! Everyone follow me! <laughs> Jesse, look out! <laughs> this is awesome! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. It's gaining on us! No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. freaking made it! Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! They told us you'd kicked it! Uh, who are you people? It's me, Magnus. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. All that matters is, you're safe now. You're among friends, Gabriel. I don't feel safe. All I feel is the horror of being in that monster. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. Doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. All I know is she'd want us to keep fighting no matter what. In fact, she'd tell us that we had to. <laughs> You're right, she would. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? 
My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? All we managed to do is make things worse. The command block is still out there, Soren. Blast! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. So, is the command block controlling all three wither storms? Oh, uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket. I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey. It's okay. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I got you. Oh, now you think? Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. You're right, they do need you. And the best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. That sounds right. But it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. Lucas. Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. <laughs> Petra, how are you doing? You look terrible, Petra. Your skin is, like, almost gray. Hey. Way to not sugarcoat it. I feel even worse than I look. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault, it's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have... Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can... Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. I'm not gonna lie, man, but we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, 
The next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Magnus. Everyone knows Magnus. Magnus? Hmm. And how do I know him exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You're both members of the Order of the Stone. And what's that? The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. No, 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 no. Anything but that. Come on, it's what you're famous for. <sighs> well, all right then. The Ender Dragon. You see, it was huge. And dangerous. And for a while there, it looked like we were goners. But you know who stepped in and killed that thing? Um, was it Jesse? Huh? No! It was you, man! You killed it! Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh... I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. You'll get your chance, Gabriel. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Sorry, Ruben. I don't really feel like company. Ruben! You came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Reuben! Don't run off on me like that, okay? Lose you, you understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. <laughs> well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. Oh, take responsibility for once, Soren. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. Withers' gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So? 
enough of them working together might be able to destroy a wither storm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correct. Is that even possible? Yes. Yes, I, I think it might be. We'd simply need to get a large group of them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh! The question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet, so if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Ivor, how could you keep this secret? Oh, believe you me, keeping secrets is easy. So I made something. An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out the Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're going to lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted superweapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. We all could, Olivia. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three Witherstorms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. See you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first.
further? Not too much further. It's really not necessary. I'm just trying to be encouraging. is profoundly sore. Feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now, not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Everyone doing okay? Not really. We're starving. Well, guess I gotta find food. Somehow. Or maybe not. Potato, you're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group.
Check out what I found. A potato. Incredible. Hey, at least it's food. Potato number two coming your way. Can I have this one? Oh, you had the last one. Oh, yeah. You take it, Ivor. I'm Sorin, not Ivor. Right, of course you are. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. Yeah, I'm not taking the cake. Fuck that. Guys! Jesse, did you find any more food? No. Well, sort of, but it doesn't matter. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. She's here! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. Skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. The Far Lands are just past the swamp. But they've seen us. They'll just follow us. The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall. The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion. We lost them for... Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that? Oh. Wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Well, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. How can Ivor live here? I mean, it's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on! Is this... 
A maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. Huh. We can probably climb these. Everyone! On guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! <sighs> Guys! Climb the vines! Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Well, oh, this is still better than doing the maze, that's for sure. serious okay I don't know how I feel about this so much garbog
This place just gets weirder and weirder. Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia! shots to the face like that. Honestly, I just want to Backwards compatible.